All right, guys, Boat's Easy Performance here. We're gonna go over our top five 3800 mods. You just got that new 3800 powered vehicle, and you're gonna get into it a little bit. Yes, some of these are a little more tailored to the, towards the maintenance side of mods, but at the end of the day, if we're gonna be improving the vehicle's performance, we need to make sure we got a good baseline to start with. So that brings me to my first mod, mod number one, our silicone vacuum line kit. This comes with two T's and all the necessary silicones to replace all of your factory 3800 vacuum lines. It's super important to ensuring uh, no vacuum leaks, optimal fuel mileage, all the other stuff. This hooks to your fuel pressure regulator, um, your map sensor. There's a lot of important things that are referenced through these vacuum lines. So getting those old crusty ones out of the way is a great first mod. Moving on down the list, we need some air in that thing. You know, who knows how old the current air filter in there is. This is a drop-in for our um, Grand Prix. A uh, standard replacement filter would work well. Factory air box is pretty good at moving air. Really the biggest gain you're gonna get from upgrading to our cold air intake is uh, basically a lot of sound. But in the early stages of mounting, a uh, standard drop-in replacement filter, a K&N, or at your local parts store is, is great for ensuring that uh, your 3800 powered vehicle is gonna have some clean air going into it. Moving on. Spark plugs. I am a huge fan of auto lights. Uh, we run them here in all of our applications, whether it be a small bolt-on 3-4 pulley car or Zoom's uh, highly modified GTP. This is an Autolite 104. I would recommend that to everybody with essentially a 3-4 pulley or larger. They would also work in a naturally aspirated application or you could do a TR55 NGK. Autolite 104 is super good at reducing KR. If you're gonna be lower than a 3-4 pulley, I would recommend switching to the uh, 103. A standard gap on a 3800 stock is 0 0.055. I would, I would recommend tightening these up to uh, 40. 40 thousandths just to uh, ensure you don't have any misfires. We all know the 3800 is prone to having misfires. Moving on, we got our air, we got our spark, and of course you know where I'm going with that is some fuel. Fuel filters in 3800s, I have seen some really dirty, grungy stuff. This is our ZZ Performance high flow fuel filter replacement for the uh, 97 through 03. The difference between 97 through 03 is uh, this has one outlet here and then the Series 2 has uh, two there. I've seen close to 15 PSI at the rail with a filter replacement on a 3800 just at idle. So you can only imagine what that's like at, like at wide open throttle. And if you're gonna be working on tuning a car, if you're gonna be working on, you know, maybe adding a pulley down the road, you're gonna definitely wanna ensure you have some fuel to it. So that's number four, fuel filter replacement. Obviously, I would recommend our high flow fuel filter. And continuing on the theme of fuel, fuel supply, our ZZP fuel pump rewire kit. This is gonna give you a brand new power wire from the front to the back. Make sure we got the proper amount of juice going to that fuel pump, especially as we're increasing airflow, we're gonna increase fuel demand. So anything we can do to get more voltage to the pump is gonna ensure we have more volume and pressure. And what's cool too is this also relocates the ground. A lot of guys like to stick this on the seat belt bracket, really anywhere clean in the trunk is a good place to locate this ground. You got your pigtail wire here that just goes right in place of your factory wiring harness. And then obviously they hook, you hook your power wire up there. Comes with a QR code and all the instructions you need to install this fuel pump rewire. Uh, the biggest thing too is just getting this ground wire replaced. The factory uh, fuel pump shares a ground with the tail light and they're known to go bad. They're in a bad location. These cars get rusty over the years. You really want to address the fuel pump rewire and the filter. I like to do them at the same time just to make sure you know, we have good fuel supply. Other than that, you know, just to round everything up, vacuum line kit, new air filter, spark plugs, and our fuel pump rewire kit and filter. These are all basic good things to start modding your your 3800 powered vehicle with. It covers a little bit of maintenance and it just is, ensures that we have the our foundation for creating some horsepower. We got airflow going in that is contained with the vacuum line kit and, in, and getting into the engine efficiently with the air filter. We have good spark with our new spark plugs and they're the correct heat range and they're gapped properly. We're having proper fuel delivery through the high flow fuel filter and making sure the pump is seeing the voltage that it needs with the rewire kit, you know, fixing the ground wire problems. There's many ways you can run this. You can run this through the car, you can run it under the car. There's really no wrong or right way of doing it. Again, there's a QR code for this. Very easy installation instruction. Just got a pigtail harness here. Really all of these you could get done in the same night and you could have a much better running vehicle by morning. Um, that's your top five 3800 mod list with me. 
and stay tuned for some more.